The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Sunflower Media Mint. Some programs might include strong images or language that not might be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Your new you is the real you. You are listening to Be You by the New You. Back to the pod. Galing magita. <laughs> Back to the pod on a Thursday night. It's the 24th of September. Welcome to Be You by the New You. <laughs> Iba kagits. My name is H. Well, I'm here again as a substitute host for this show. We're going live every Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays at the New You Facebook page. You can go check out our website at www.thenewuph.com. Uh, you can go catch all of the previous episodes. It's there on the website. Um, you can also download it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts right after this one. But yeah, feeling ko naka recover naman na siya. Uh, I want to check out the co-host for this for tonight. Um, Gita, kamusta? Kamusta, Gita? Hi, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. Good evening once again. Ganda na pagkakabagsak ng kami ng phone mo eh. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. Ganda na pala ako. Okay. Kamusta, kamusta? Okay, kamusta, kamusta bakasyon? Okay naman, okay naman. Bakasyon? Bakasyon? Ah, wala nga pala. Like, kasi, I mean, si Raj pala yung previously hindi natin nakakasama. Oh my! Yeah. And surprisingly, na ngayon, syempre, <laughs> siya yung guest. <laughs> Sama natin siya. So, without any further ado, we we have on the show for tonight for Be You by The New You. One of our main, well, we started this podcast, The, the New You. And now, she is on the pod as a guest for tonight. Um, we have Raj on Chaka on the show. Welcome, Raj. Welcome to your own Hi. show. Welcome, it's so weird. Sobrang weird, ah. Medyo ako ako yung guest. Well, the, the reason why we have Reg on the show is uh, when when we were talking about BU, di ba? We're talking about influencers. We're talking about uh, people who would really make a difference out of this world. And um, talking about with Reg, it's not... When we talk about influencers, it's not, all, it's not only about the following or the likes in social media. Hindi yun yun, eh. But it's a matter of really talking about a person in a certain community that he or she belongs to. And for tonight, Reg here is not your host for the new you, not your... Well, she's she's also a, a, a corporate girl in the morning, but not like corporate that. Corporate slave. Corporate slave. <laughs> corporate slave in the morning. But um, for tonight, well, she's one of the instructors for Krav Maga Philippines. Okay, so we're for tonight we'll be talking about Krav Maga, her her passion. Honestly, uh, I'm not a, a very uh, what you call this into this type of thing. Pero eh, itong co-host natin, itong si, si Reg natin, ito ang ito ang healing nito. Eh. Care to care to share with everyone what really this Krav Maga thing? Ako, I, I personally only hear this on How I Met Your Mother. Doon ko lang natutunan yan. I mean, narinig ko lang doon and then I saw that episode na nambubugbog yung babae. So, would we expect Reg Ong Shako na someone as nambubugbog din in real life? Grabe. <laughs> Violente agad. Pwede, pwede naman. Um... Well, okay, so Krav Maga is an Israeli self-defense system, no? It's what they use in the IDF, and there's basically, if I narrow it down, no, to the pinaka general, no, there's two types. There's military Krav Maga, and then there's civilian Krav Maga. So, parang nang, basically nanggaling yung civilian out of the military, because this was founded around, this was founded by Imi Richtenfeld, who basically developed this self-defense system uh, during the peak of anti-Semitism. Wow. So it was a way for his people or you know, sila, to defend themselves against, you know, 
uh, what was going on noon time na yon, di ba? Medyo magulugulo yung mundo. So eventually, um, when Israel uh, was formed, Imi was the one that polished this system into their and incorporated it into their Israeli um, defense forces. And then from there, nabuhay din yung civilian Krav Maga. And what's the difference naman kay, kay civilian, civilian Krav Maga? Well, <laughs> um, for civilian kasi, you have to take into consideration that these are everyday people. So mm. it's really just for self-defense because at the same time, you know, we're not above the law. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, military Krav Maga, it's a whole different thing. Eh? They have their own rules, they have their own protocols, you know. But for civilians, at the general standpoint, it's really just um, to protect yourself, to protect your family, your loved ones, sino yung kasama mo, and at the same time, you know, to make sure that you guys escape si- the situation uh, safely. So let's say, we're safe to assume that that's what you're practicing or a little bit of are you knowledgeable of both? Yeah. Um, I have knowledge when it comes to military Krav Maga, but I'm not, I'm not in any, <laughs> you know, yeah, position to talk okay. about it because mm-hmm. you know I really am a civilian. So yeah, okay. I more or less my practice is really just civilian Krav Maga, although I have basic knowledge for the military style Krav Maga. And I'm sure the training is within the military, which is not seen by other people especially civilians no yeah it, it's it's quite different um and it's a different approach also uh compared to minute uh, to civilian krav maga what's what's that no i think uh with, with this krav maga no what's the difference with your usual ano ba, how do you call it mixed martial arts or the usual ima Taekwondo or what or whatever. Di ko alam yung matagal na jujitsu or what yeah. yung mga What's the difference mixed, between those? Mga mixed martial, mixed martial arts, arts, martial yeah. arts mm. in general. Yeah. Um, the difference is that uh, it's not a sport. <laughs> oh. It's really not a sport. So okay. we don't have like you know like how jujitsu's they have um, inter groups or like yeah they have competitions no. Um, we have more or less like rankings and level ups. We also have. Uh, we also have um, what do you call this? Krav Maga like training camps where it's like okay, we go into a boot camp, no, <clears throat> and mm-hmm. then we level up. But it's not a sport at all, cause okay, you know, unlike jujitsu, you have certain rules. Uh, with MMA, also the UFC is a very you know the 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 practice for UFC fighting or cage fighting. It's very deadly, but it I mean. When you watch the UFC, makikita mo may rules talaga there, mm-hmm. right? Same same for boxing, same for Muay Thai, and for the other sports. So with Krav Maga, there's no rules. Anything goes. So talaga is really for ano, for for self defense talaga ang pinaka practice. Yeah, it, mm. it's really just self defense. And for example, you're not limited to your fists. So it it gives you a it it's more of like okay, so I'm in a situation. Let's say I can't. Really, I, I don't punch strong, but there's like a bottle next to me. So, we're going to bottle. Whoa. We're going to what common objects that I can use aside from just my fists in a certain situation. Because, again, you're taken out of the setting of a uh, competition where there's like, you know, a ring or mm-hmm. rules, a referee. Um, it's more or less you're, you're putting your mindset in a place where it's between life and death. Essentially, yeah. So it's really about making the most out of the situation. Like you can't predict kasi anything because eh? with others like sports, you're just in one box. That's the ring, and this is <coughs> what's gonna go down. But mm-hmm. with crowd, you can practice it anywhere, and you're gonna need it anytime, anywhere, and you don't know the setting of where you're gonna need to practice it. Also, the right? buff. Yeah, and um, the thing about sports, kasi de ba? You know, when you talk about mixed martial arts, it's um, it's one on one. But when we do our Krav Maga trainings and our Krav Maga drills, when we do level ups, you know, like when we go up, up, like you know, or when we level up our skill set, 
yeah. we always end it with a multiple situation scenario. So it's never just me sparring or training with one person. It's normally me training with a minimum of two to three people in one for a, a certain technique or a certain um, lesson. Hindi siya one on one. Hmm. So talagang ano no? You, you are like simulating a scenario we're in. Your trap, parang ganon na tipong um, yeah. kinorner ka or what na hindi lang may isa talaga yung kalaban mo, might be a gang mm-hmm. or of what na you're in an aisle for example. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can already imagine the trainings being so creative because you have to think of situations outside of the box. Eh. Yeah, so, yeah, we have like. Actually, they're really creative and they're really fun. Because, parang you don't know um, somebody could hit you and you have to defend, and then all of a sudden, yung isang person sa same group, another person will jump in. Because, I mean, let's be honest. Siguro kung dante, if ever there was a period na it was just one attacker on the street. Ngayon, mm. I'm pretty sure yeah. nga minimum tat- tatlo eh. Kasi yung isa, tapos may dalawang naka standby, may dalawa yeah. dun sa sulok. I mean, if you're Parang ngayon, it's more or less in groups na talaga. It's never just really one person trying to do something. Whether it's just one attacker na nakikita mo, there, there are at least like two more people in the shadows na binabantayan yung kasama nila. Dapat, oo. Oh. Tsaka pagpapasahan nila na nakawa nila. Oh. Yeah, the, the, usual, the usual scheme of, of what people do in terms of doing this stuff on the street. Uh, yeah, it's not really just about one person, so... It's 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 good to to know. I think I mean, ako no personally when when I hear about craft baga, syempre, yun yung unang patakbo sa utak mo na, yeah, it's another sport. It's, it's another type of uh what they call it, mixed martial arts that you can really practice on and then continue we're in baka mamaya may mga belt span or what like wrestling or what, diba? Pero it it's good to know right now that it's is it's just a practice. It's really a practice of not only on the physical side of things but also to condition your mind. I think yun yung isa yeah. sa, uh, sa bagay na nakita ko dito. I mean, for, for the short span na nag-uusap tayo for this, for this episode, it's really conditioning of the mindset we're in. How are you really going to behave when you are... It's like, it's like you're um, a, a, lab, a lab rat. Kumbaga, di ba? Na, how, how will that, that species behave when given or, or thrown into a scenario like this? Yeah... In your case, Reg, I mean, with with this practice, no, with Krav Maga, um, paano, paano nyo, paano nyo sinisimulan? I mean, what's, what's the, sabi na natin, basic mentality to it? Meron bang ganyan? Like, for example, kasi with, with the sport, di ba? Sometimes you condition yourself, let's say basketball. If you're competing, you know you're competing with someone that's bigger or faster than you, then you have your mind conditioned on how to really, it's like chess, di ba? Parang, you learn the weak, you, you know the weaknesses and then you attack from there. You you expose that one. Pero sen yo, I mean, paano yung mind conditioning? Paano yung kasi it's like a different scenario every now and then. Kasi parang ganun yung gusto yung going practice, diba? Um well, I can go on and on no kasi mm. I've been I've been doing Krav Maga for gosh, gano katagal na. Teka, magmamath ako. <laughs> Over a decade. Wow. So, I've... Yeah. So, it's... I've been Over a decade? Ilan taong ka na ba? 35? Nine. Gumura na ako. Hindi. Over a decade. So, ano? Ilan taong ka nag-start? I started when I was 12. And I am now 24. Oh, 12. Yeah. So, I wow. used to do... Before that, kasi I used to train. I my first my first um, introduction to martial arts was when I was nine. I used to do boxing, and then I did Muay Thai, and then I did BJJ, and then when I was twelve years old, I really for some reason Krav Maga Seguro was something that really clicked with me. Uh, it really clicked with me. So ever since then, I've been doing just practicing Krav Maga. So I, I mean, I can say this from experience, no? Na, yeah. Um, and I can say this with my knowledge on Krav Maga is that it's the mindset is just as important as the physical training itself. Gutom ka? Wait. <laughs> I love episode today. We can do anything. Oh, no, but then, yeah, then continue. Continue. <laughs> ko si Chris dito eh. Chris, hi Chris Villacorta. Hindi ako magmumura today, promise. 
Anyway, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's really the mindset is just as important as the physical training. Because, well, sometimes I feel like in certain situations, no, it's really the mindset that's the pinaka importante sa akin. Because, um, a- ako babae ako. There's definitely going to be bigger, stronger dudes out there. You know, um. <laughs> Yeah. Natawa ako sa comments, Harley. Ang sarap daw ng kain mo. <laughs> go on, go on. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, they're always gonna be bigger guys, you know. And, you know, um, for me kasi, it's not really preparing myself to just beat, uh, well, to just beat the shit out of them, right? So, like, what ako. Kasi, it's true. It's true. No matter how many times, kunyari, Kami ni Gita, no? It's not like we can just go out and do that. So we have to have a mindset wherein it's really something like, okay, if this is my last breath, am I willing to risk it? Because at that point, when you turn that switch on, um, wala na eh. it, it, you're you're essentially fighting for your life. Because I I you don't know your attackers. Nobody knows. Krav Maga does not train you to predict every single attack or every exactly. single attacker that comes at you. Because we're different to think about it. For example, I think this way, Harley will think a different way. Gita has a different idea, you know? And that's the same when uh, with people who want to attack you or to do something terrible things, right? So, you don't know what they're capable of. So, at this point, you really have to consider your life um, on the line. Yeah. But Red, I, I'm really interested to know how you do... Well, I know you have a lot of history with boxing, MMA, mm-hmm. but was were you ever put in a situation where you thought na, I need to learn this, I need to know how to defend myself? Mm-hmm. Um, ever. Um, you know, I Actually, ayun nga eh, kaya nga nag-roll ako ng ice ko. Mm-hmm. What got me to start kasi was actually I I don't think I was ever put in a situation that wanted me that for me that's why I wanted to take the path of like learning yeah. martial arts as a sport and then doing Krav Maga as a system right mm-hmm. uh but when I was younger in gymnastics kasi ako dati tapos <laughs> sabi ng dad ko sabi ng dad ko baka gusto ko magboxing and then na enjoy ko kasi I found I found that uh, I really enjoyed doon lumabas yung competitive spirit ko talaga. Doon talaga lumabas yung uh, athletic mindset, my drive to to push myself. And when I started doing Krav at 12, it just went all the way up. Like my 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 mindset, my how I wanted to condition myself, uh, my my love for fitness, lahat siya nag ano eh nag align with the passion that I realized that I had for Krav Maga. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so were you, did you ever feel the need na magagamit mo na talaga siya na okay, this is it, I'm gonna beat the toot out of you. <laughs> ever. As in, yung after na na-aral. Parang na, narinig ko na yung kwento na, ngayon. Narinig mo na yung kwento, pero let's dial it down a bit. Okay? Yeah, sige. Go ahead. So, <laughs> yung version mo, yung version. Yeah. No, I mean, well, it really is my version. I just won't go too much into detail about it, no? Kasi it was a terrifying experience. But uh, recent nga lang to, that's what, that's what kind of like made me like, hmm, ma- Good thing talaga na I, I've been doing Krav Maga for a while kasi my instincts were kicked in, no? So, I was living abroad for a while. Uh, it was just a few years ago. I was living abroad, and I, ano kami? Apat kami na flatmates. I was with uh, three other girls. So lat kami babae sa flat. You know, yeah. they were also they were also Filipino. So we became like really good friends, and we were all living alone. You know, our parents are all back here in the Philippines, and at one point, kasi when I was getting ready in the morning to leave the apartment, may kumakatok. Tapos sabi ko, wait, may di- 
7 a.m. Pagka check ko 7 a.m. Um, <laughs> ma, ang aga eh. So, sabi ko, may, may pinadeliver ba yung flatmate ko? Eh, yung flatmates ko kasi dati, mahilig sila magpa-deliver. So, sanay ako mm-hmm. that I just opened the door kagad and then I get the delivery. So, I looked through the people of the door and I saw a guy tapos parang naka-jacket siya. Sabi ko, oh, sige, baka delivery man. Pagkabukas ko, tatlong lalaki nandun sa harap. Okay. So, I mean, I saw through the people one person, which means nakatago yung dalawa. Mm. You know? So, binuksan ko, and I was like, super surprised, kasi all of a sudden, there's three dudes in front, and they're like, asking me questions, you know, and then, alam mo pa, yung pinaka nakakatawa dito, I shit you not. Alam mo yung stereotypical na kontrapita na naka-leather jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Ganon? Kontrapita <laughs> levels, no? Tapos, ang sungit-sungit ng mukha ni Kuya. Tapos, parang tinatanong niya ako, how many of you are living here? What's your name? Like, why? I don't know you. I was asking why, di ba? Um, and then, you know, uh, alam mo yung feeling na you see everything in slow motion. Because mm-hmm. I felt I felt very threatened. Hindi sa super paranoid ako, but I it didn't feel right. Eh. Alam mo talaga when it doesn't feel right. Yeah. And he reached into his back pocket, you know. Wow. May dudukin siya. Uh, that was within the span of a few seconds, no? But I saw everything in slow motion, and the first thing I thought was baril, cuchillo, or wala. Wala lang. May papakita lang siya. <laughs> Sabi ko, if it's either one of those two or one of those three parang two out of three of those is a risk already mm-hmm. so the minute the minute he he did that sinipa ako siya and he fell on top of the two guys that were behind him wow like an action <laughs> yeah and then oh, no talaga that was so the, like you know we called the cops and everything we got it settled naman after they were apparently because these these three guys, they don't speak English. Hmm. So they were looking for someone, but it's kind of scary, di ba? Kasi they're looking for someone, and they didn't, they weren't friendly. So parang sabi ko, shit, kung oh, may hanap, ang next person na hanapin nila ako. Kasi yeah. sinipa ako. Totoo, and, uh, it, it can really happen, di ba? Parang baka mamaya, mistaken identity, whatever they do to you, they can always blame it to that, eh. Na, well, no, we yeah. thought it's her. We thought she's fighting back, or what? Yeah, and um, so even after that, you know, I was living abroad and I had a family friend that was also in the country but in a different city. Mm. So I called him up. I asked him about how, you know, the local is the local situation here and everything. I told him what happened. Mm. And, you know, uh, that family friend of ours, he's also a Krav Maga instructor in that country. Okay. So I consulted him about it. He The first thing he said was, well, good to know your instincts, kicked in, you know. Sabi ko, well, I, I really was scared yeah. since sinara ko yung pintuan, I mm-hmm. shouted at, I shouted from the hallway, I told all my flatmates, lock your doors. So we stayed in our rooms, we locked it, we kept it locked, Um, we called the cops and everything, protocol, you know, and um after that, you know, kasi ako lang kasi, ako lang kasi naka-expose eh, noong time na yon. they really saw my face. They saw my face for a few minutes, nakita nila na I kicked them, kasi I was talking to them for a while eh. Uh-huh. Um, before it happened, no. So even after that situation, you know what? I took different routes going home. Different routes. Every single time I'd go out, iba yung dadaanan ko. I'd take one hour or 30 minutes. Iba iba. Iba iba yung routes ko pa uwe. Just to be safe. Because yeah, like I didn't, know. I didn't know them. Eh. And yeah, and you know, parang the worst part is parang the police couldn't identify them. So I was like, okay. <laughs> ah, talaga? <laughs> okay. Parang wala kaming nakuha basta i think you know parang pinaano na lang namin mm-hmm. we filed a report na lang for it para if ever anything else would happen alam na nila agad na it's this area this is what happened they can trace it at least yeah, uh, yeah. so ayun i mean even the aftermath no my mindset was i'm still not safe even though it's with the police kasi we don't know how much power these people have true. the, the attackers true. so i really i really took into consideration my routes going home and wherever i'd go i'd really make it so confusing sometimes mm-hmm. you know right ang galing lang ang galing lang cuz i think at that time your mind was just so focused and composed na to follow your instincts talaga. Because a lot of us, especially girls, syempre, in a situation, 
kahit gano'n ka ready kunyari ako kahit gano'n ka I can say na I can beat up a guy ganyan pero when it's really there me personally I don't know if I'm just gonna freeze up and like Mismo. oh my gosh can I really <laughs> exactly and iba eh iba talaga when you're in that situation but for you to have that mindset to like karate kick the guy and I guess <laughs> This is what Krav did, no? It really programmed you to be calm in a situation, to assess everything in a split mm-hmm. second. That, that's why I say that for Krav Maga, the mindset is really, for me, sometimes even more important than your physical condition. Because if you yeah. have the right mindset, <laughs> you can prevent it pag na- nakita mo na eh. Pag Tama. nakita mo na something bad is about to happen, iwas ka na agad. Like, for example, you're in the mall, may nakita ka, there's somebody following you, or parang may napansin mo, parang I've seen this guy a few times. Go somewhere else, go to a crowded area, go to uh, a concierge, tumabi ka sa security guard near the mall, ask him a question, a thing or two, ganon. I mean, that the mindset of being aware of your surroundings and having the proper situ- situational awareness, rather, is really a core essential of Krav. And, you know, like what you talked about, about freezing and everything, you know, I've had students and I, I, I for myself, no, naalala ko when I first started training Krav. The first time I did a stress drill, which is what we call like the stress drill after we do the techniques, I froze. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Because we they put us in a um, stressful situation, they, they pump our heart rate with the exercises and everything. And then, biglang magugulat ka na lang, somebody's gonna come at you with a punch. Whoa. So, ganun yung, ma- ganun yung mga stress drills namin, no? you close your eyes, you, when somebody says open, you don't know what attack you're about to get. Within the techniques that you learned that day. And you know, sa sobrang tagal kong doing that or training that, no, I really owe a lot of my mindset right now, not just, not just with sport, but in life in general, mm-hmm. to crap. Because of the because of the trainings, uh, the physical trainings that were also very good in training somebody's like psyche or mindset towards things. Hmm. Yeah. So you said you had students, Bridge. Yeah. Rob. Like your. So can you tell us more of when you were, what do you, what do you call it, certified or? Oh. Uh-huh. Um. I got my instructor certification or my exam because like you know like everything naman we we really train for the it's a course you know it, to be an instructor you really have to take a course and you license for it so I I got my instructor's license and I passed the the exam and the whole training program when I was 18 wow you did 18 a years old <laughs> yeah well while while, while, girl, while girls are busy Planning their party. their party, yeah. You're, yeah, you're 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 busy getting your certification on Grab. Wow. Yeah, hindi yeah. ako nagdebut actually. Hindi talaga ako nagdebut kasi yung training course ko na yon that was around April and my birthday is around April May de ba summertime. Hindi talaga ako nag nag I, I celebrated my birthday in the middle of training for it and you know it was a rigorous program kasi. You know, for to be a Krav Maga instructor, that holds a lot of responsibility and a lot of training and, you know, everything. Because essentially, you're teaching people how to protect their lives, right? And their family. Mm-hmm. So that's a lot of responsibility. So our trainings were so rigorous for that course. I was training like six days a week, eight hours a day. Wow. And you were balancing school at the same time. De summer yun eh. Okay lang yun. So makto ng summertime. <laughs> it was summertime yun eh. It was like three months before I got to take the exam and before I passed it. It's it's so funny though. Na for the longest time I've known you. Ngayon ko lang tunda rin yun naglahat. I didn't know that you were a certified instructor. I didn't know that you were a ano ba sabi dito? A girl yet deadly. Yeah, de ba? <laughs> eh paano ang pag <laughs> pag ang pagkakakilala mo kasi kay Ridge nangunguna sa ano sa kuhaan ng lumpia. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, looking at Ridge, I know she's a person who can defend herself. But yeah. I didn't know she was certified and legit. Or ganitong ka ano, yo. Yeah, oh. I didn't know. And ano, I mean, it's good mm-hmm. to know though, Reg, na I can call you for backup anytime. <laughs> <laughs> True. Bodyguard. I mean, 
<laughs> hindi ko kasi siya masyado pinagmamayabang no. Like my my close mm-hmm. only my close friends really know that I'm an instructor and you know people within the Krab Maga community no. Hi to everyone watching. Nakita ko yung ibang mga friends ko na. Hi there. But Thank yeah, you for it's, in. it's people it's people within that community, my students, you know, they know I'm an instructor, Krav Maga Philippines, I'm on the, the page also as one of their instructors, but uh, I don't necessarily always brag it, kasi ang, ang, mo, ang, pa, kung sasabihin ko kasi, uh, medyo ang slogan ng Krav Maga Philippines is, the ready one, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, it's to train you to be the ready one, and you know, at the same time, like based on how you are as a person you know hindi kailangan na ganito yung itsura mo like you sit up ganito ang, mm. ang dating mo it's literally just the ready one which can be anyone you don't you never yeah. know it eh. and, and and anyone can can take the time to train for themselves whether it be to protect them if they're living al- alone or to protect their kids or to protect their family or their loved ones and their friends mga ganun yeah, and I don't think crab is something that you boast about. Na, oh, I'm I'm yeah, crab. Yeah, exactly. It's really more on, like you said, mental situations. Now you use it when you when you need it. You don't exactly. tell me yeah. about it. But when you're in that situation, you are the ready one. And so, te- and maybe, and telling people about it really exposes you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. for me, I I I. I I, oh, I'm exposed under Krab Maga Philippines, yeah, but to people that I don't meet, syempre hindi ko blatantly sasabihin yan. Kasi, I mean, uh, it's not something for me to really... It, it's something I'm doing for myself more than anything and for and for my students to empower them to to defend themselves. You know, like, um, to give an example, I had a student actually that was training kasi he was, you know, he was severely bullied. Uh, in high in his in his school parang bata pa siya nun eh, I, I remember but he wa- but i told him naman you're not you're not training to get back at them ha you're training yeah, to defend exactly. yourself on if it ever happens kasi at, the, kasi at the same time you shouldn't let that happen to you exactly. but you're also not going to do it to harm them For without it. purpose yeah. so one thing i saw ha, that came out of that wasn't na nagamit niya. Thankfully, hindi sa ginamit niya talagang nakipagbubugan siya or anything. But I just, I saw his confidence level. I saw how he handled himself. Dati kasi pagkapasok niya sa class, I would talk to him, pero he wouldn't say a single word to me, to anyone. And then, siguro after a few months of training, he has friends in Krav Maga. He found his like family, his barkada. Mm-hmm. He started talking, makulit na siya. A coach, ganito, ganyan. You know, and at the same time, I saw that he was very, very confident, and he was, uh, you know, he found his own group of friends in his own school. You know, people, you could see that his posture is more different. He's not anymore somebody na mukang pwede mong tulak tulakin lang. Mm, so I mean, lang. aside from, yeah, aside from equipping him to defend himself if that happens, it also changed his lifestyle and his mindset. Yeah. I well, think crab is one way to build a person up. Because yeah, it's ano lang. Parang I can relate it to body po- yung body positivity journey ko, de ba? Parang before, syempre, when I wasn't working out that much, hira pa ko to be so open. Pero now na I know, pinaghirapan ko to, and you work towards something eh, and like the training eh, there's really some power in training and learning more. Because Hindi naman sa you find your worth in in the sport or in anything, but you find your worth eventually with the things yeah. that you do and the build sa siguro sa club. Kaya ang galing lang, kasi it's really how you bring yourself na after that eh. Yeah, it's how you carry yourself outside also, you know. I mean, as much as possible then, um, you know, I, it's not like I, I wanna say this talaga, but you know how sometimes talaga yung mga attackers, whether hold up yan or anything, namimili talaga sila. Yeah. Ah, ito mukhang yes. kaya to. Oo, ito mukhang kaya to. Ito parang mag-isa lang to. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it's 
it's not to say na you have to look like somebody that they can't do that to but at the same time also parang you just have to be ready you have to be confident in yourself and at the same and what if it happens i hope it doesn't you know sana na detect niyo yung signs before the it actually it gets to you mm-hmm. no yeah so but if it does happen the mindset switches eh? we call it an on off switch flip the switch so, yeah yeah flip the switch literally when that happens you know the switch is on it's between your life and death that you're yeah. supposed to be thinking about so you have to escape it you have to get out of the situation as soon as possible mm-hmm. well actually he- hearing this well what Kravaga is all about for for tonight I see it more as a, as a discipline right now rather than Ako, kasi, if if you see the the pictures if you see the sayang the the video uh, we didn't have the time to to put it here pero you can go check out the the videos for Krabaga Philippines on their social media pages if you see it parang una kasi isipin mo it's really a sport it's something that I can really oh I I want to try this and all ganyan but but hearing these things tonight with Reg uh Knowing na it's as simple as that, eh, Parang like I mean, with with the late Kobe Bryant, de Kobe tends to to learn or study his opponents. Kaya siya naging kaya 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 niya na tatalo. But it's mm-hmm. different in real life, and that's that's the reality because you don't know who you are really facing every day. Yeah. De ba? I mean, at at ang masama don, tayo the targets actually tayo yung mga napapag-aralan na. Mm-mm. Kasi they will attack you. I mean, yung mga yung mga hold up na yan or yung mga naririnig natin na mga inside job, yung mga pinapasok na mga bahay, hindi yan biglang nagtitrip lang naman na, oh, nakawa natin to or hold up natin to. Definitely. Hindi yan spontaneous. Hindi, hindi ganun yun. Hindi eh. Pinag-aaralan nila yun, saan ka dumadaan. Dun sa dinadaanan mo, saan yung pinaka pinaka spot na pwedeng, yeah, oh, na pwedeng, pwedeng gawin yung, yung act or what. And then, gagawin yun. And it's good na meron mga ganitong practice. I mean, practice na uh, right now, when we are all in this time of quarantine and lockdown, it's something that maybe some of our audiences would like to know about. I think. Yeah. Diba? Oh. Pero, Reg, one question lang din. I mean, kasi we've been on lockdown, we've been on quarantine for about seven months right now. How do you continue with the practice? Um... Well, since we are on lockdown ngayon, no? I mean, mm. for me personally, I mm. would like everybody to practice social distancing. It's very hard yeah. to do contact tracing with the classes, uh, with the physical classes. But uh, at the moment, no, we're launching in October our programs online and our courses. So it'll be for me, well, for my patch at least, if you guys want to join, uh, if you guys want to train with me, no? I have about like 15 slots open on my patch and then 15 slots on another coach. So the reason why we're starting it with just a small batch online is because it's really uh, a program that they're going to go through. It's okay. a whole month program um, with just the same students on the class online. And uh, well, at the end, Chempre, we'll see the results. Uh, we, I really, we really took this into consideration. So... Um, it'll be a month every month. It'll be a month long program, no. But at least to talk, I don't want to do as much as possible online classes. Sa totoo mm-hmm. lang. Although, syempre, wala tayong choice ngayon because I want to make sure that if you're taking a self defense class online, especially because this is self defense, no. Yeah. If you're taking a self defense class online, hindi siya without a result mm-hmm. or an end result. Because I. It's not something you can learn in one class. You learn yeah. something from yeah. it, but you also need the necessary training, the instructor to really para tutok sayo, to really focus on your progress in order to get a really good outcome, which is what I'm aiming for. I'm trying to get the same outcome I get from when I teach my uh, physical classes. So uh, for me, it's I don't think one session is enough especially online ngayon na maybe in in a physical class it would be enough mm-hmm. uh, but four sessions isn't even enough if you really want to take this seriously uh, if you really want to take learning uh, self-defense seriously 
and it's online, I would suggest for you to try it out for at least a month. Where to talk talaga kayo. Yeah, and we can honestly take your word for it because you've been doing it for over a decade. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So, I'm, yeah, so we encourage everyone, sana ako din, register. Sabay mo na, Gitz. No, pwede. Well. It's really nice, Reg, to hear that you're into this. I, I, I don't even want to undermine it by saying you're into this, but it's so mm-hmm. nice na you practice this and what I see now, yes, like what Harley said, it's a discipline, but it's also a way of life, eh? Yeah. Like every yeah. Day, yes, it is. Lifestyle mo to, eh? And it's really built in you now. Kaya, it, yeah. I agree with not learning it sa four sessions, which I know it's good to learn the basics and the background of everything, like what you said kanina, but it's really something that you commit yourself to, eh? Diba? So, right. Galing, galing lang. Yeah. Reg, so, I have a question I here saw, pala, the comments. Well, uh, yeah, I saw, uh, I saw the comments, no? So, actually, for moms, I encourage especially parents to learn this. Um, don't think na because it's a physical class na, ah, nakakapagod, di ko kaya nun. No, that, the point of crab is that kaya ng lahat to yeah. defend themselves. And especially for parents, no? Think of... I'd like at least if you're going to be joining my class to come into the mindset to think that you're doing this to protect your kids also if anything happens. Exactly. And to, to mention also, no, we're doing this first. We're doing we're launching this in October, so uh, Krav Maga Philippines will be announcing the class, the sign up sheets, the payments, everything soon uh, on the Facebook page and on the website. But uh, we're also going to be adding as well. Um, Krav Maga kids, because we also teach kids. Kids. So, kids. Like maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sige, so, mo si Yuki. <laughs> two years old ang bata mo. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> three. Start the yeah. Now. Um, yeah, I think I've had students as young as like five years old join like the kids class now up until like ten or eleven years old. Because mm. it's a different, but but yung kids kasi. It's a different tactic or approach to teaching Uh-oh. them. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, for example, Harley, yung kid mo, you wanna enroll him to train sa Krav Maga kids. I'd encourage you to observe the classes also, because the parents can learn a thing or two on how their kids will be able to um, identify threats without putting it, shoving it in their face. You know, mga simple things or simple signals na alam nila, okay, if mm-hmm. I see this, I run to mommy and daddy. If uh, I see this, I hide. If I see this, I hide in the house mm-hmm. where they can't find me. Mm-hmm. Mga, ganun, mga ganun yung approach namin when we when we talk about kids. Mm-hmm. I think what the, the good one of the good things na, nakit, na narinig ko dito for tonight, no? I, I'm actually expecting a, a very physical discussion. <laughs> but, but come to think think of it now if we talk about craft magapala it's something that it's really geared towards the the mentality the preparedness of the mind of a person in terms of when he or she is put into a scenario na, on a dangerous scenario something like that yeah and it's really it's really good i mean uh we are we are living in a world right now that's very uncertain na hindi yan alam what would could happen later tomorrow or wherever diba? and um mm-hmm. I think that the world is healing. Yeah, the society is getting better, na man, as as we move forward. But at the end of the day, honestly, yeah, it, this is my my take on this one. Uh when next started the pandemic, crime rates dropped also. Because na takot lahat sa ano, eh. takot lahat sa COVID, eh, diba? But come to think of it, right now that we are slowly getting back to normal. I mean, the 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 normal that we're talking about. It's it's also a possibility that crime rates or or crimes will also come back because they feel normal already, de ba? Kung baga, those who are thinking about it are parang oy pwede na okay na to. I mean, bumabalik na sa trabaho nila, so ibig sabihin may pera na ulis sila or what? Na mimili na ulis sila sa mall, so ibig sabihin may panggasos sa sila. May pwede na kami, de ba? And that's good na in this in this time of uh, pandemic na hearing a thing or two about this about this discipline it's something that we would like of course people to to know about 
So Reg, uh, with this, before we wrap things up, we where? Sorry, where? Harles, I saw a few questions lang din eh. Uh, yung kay Juan Pedro Avila ba yan? De, 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 de. Ah, okay. Kala ko yun yung tatang. Kala ko yun yung sasagutin mo eh. <laughs> no, um, somebody... <laughs> no, yeah, because somebody asked, no, and it's, a, it's a pretty good question that hmm. I want to answer. Uh, is it really possible to learn practicing it through online without physically being in some facility? Um, we have to take into cons. Uh, for me personally, uh, I I would prefer that if you want to learn self defense, no, it, you take a physical class. But it's really just. Um, us trying to ad- adjust to the given situation within controlled limits. So we really gave this um, online classes, like the program and everything, we gave it a lot of thought before uh, deciding to release it or to launch it. Um, t- for the 15 signups, you're actually allowed to bring like two or three family members so you can train with. Um, because as much as possible for me, I think kung gusto mong sulitin yung training online, and as much as possible talaga, I'll make sure na masusulit yung, yung training online since I'll be handling one of the batches, no? Mm-hmm. Um, it's really good to have somebody to practice it with at home, at least at home, you know? It can be an experience for your family to bond together yeah. as well. And to learn something new, um, you can do it on your own, but I would also recommend if you're starting out, you have like a family at home. Because I, I would, I would say invite a friend, but then at the same time we have to be very careful now about who yeah. we are meeting we up interact with, with. Given mm. the yeah, we we interact with given the pandemic. So you're welcome to bring your family along. It'll be super fun. Um, the the program itself also there's a physical aspect for it. So it's not just gonna be puro mental talk or theory talk, no. There's going to be application drills as well. So we we kind of tried to work around the digital situation. Okay, I can't be there, or you you can't really interact with other people, yeah. no, or like. So we we carefully plan the program out to at least maximize your training online, um, and. You know, I'll be there on the class to teach you, and it will just actually actually it's two instructors per. It will me be it will be me and Coach Ricky in one in my batch, and then me also like helping him out in the other batch. So it's not just me online telling you what you need to do and everything. There are gonna be two instructors on hand also. Para mas focus talaga yung um yung group. Hmm. And uh, ako lang, uh, Reg, I want to add lang this, no? I mean, with all of the online classes that are happening right now, hindi lang about Krav Maga, there are DJs, there are cooking classes and all. Uh, I, I understand that lahat ng resources halos na sa YouTube na, eh. I mean, you can just watch it and then uh, sundan mo and all, di ba? And that will really boil down with uh, how experienced the person Yes. Yung, yung gagawa nun, di ba? For example, yeah. if, if you are really that experienced in life, I would say in life, ha, and you have this basic skills like uh, pagluluto and all, most likely watching a cooking video on YouTube, kaya mong gawin yun. And yeah. that would, that would uh, make sense also with the other stuff. For example, with the DJ stuff, if you, are, if you are knowledgeable about music production and all, mixing or what, then you can just watch about the free whatever techniques that you can get online. However, if you're trying to learn something new, I would still believe that's the reason why we are still sending our kids at school. Because yeah. you always need that experienced instructor to begin with. And the guidance also. Exactly. I mean, for me, uh, I'm not just, I'm not doing this because I, I, I want a lot of people to like sign up or anything. Because mm-hmm. if anybody really knows me and if my students really know me, I'm not, I'm doing this because I, I love it so much. I'm doing craft. I'm teaching craft because I love it so much and because I want to see my students progress. Yeah. That's the reason why I'm teaching or that's the reason why I decided I wanted to be an instructor in the first place, you know. Um, hindi ko pinag-isipan na, oh, sige, game, gusto ko mag- maging instructor kasi maangas. No, I wanted to do it because I wanted to be able to share it in a way where I can see people improve, you know, whether it be their mindset, their lifestyle or whether it be them learning improving throughout the crab techniques itself kahit ano improvement or any growth with my students it, it really like fills my heart that's good 
Uh, Yitz, any any questions that you prepare for Reg before we wrap things up? Okay. Uh, so no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I super enjoyed the, the anything about craft and thank you, Reg, for sharing. But on a lighter note, let's end this episode on a lighter note. We prepared lang just five past up questions. And PG-13 to, wag ka mag <laughs> Matapos, matapos i-build up yung, yung, yung reputation kung bab, sisirain mo lang din. <laughs> Oo, oh, hindi. Maganda questions ko. <laughs> Matigil na point si Harley na maganda yung questions ko. <laughs> <laughs> The joke lang. Okay, so, fast up, Reg. Deep conversations or small talk? Deep conversations. Definitely. Get even or get over it? Uh, get over it, but sometimes kasi I hold grudges means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lang. Depende, depende, depende. Hmm. Okay, lights on or lights off? Lights on, like this. Uh, <laughs> okay, what Hindi, is. Hindi mo may kita ngayon eh. Ayan, kita ka na. What uh, is the sexiest part of your body? Um. My eyebrows, charot. I love it. In fairness, <laughs> diba, makakapal yung kilay. Okay, <laughs> yun ba talaga? Hindi. Sexiest part of my body, siguro ano, I'll cheat, I'll cheat here. My mindset, wow. You know, okay. I like that. I like that question. Okay, last question. Actually, may nagtanong ko ito sa comments eh. Hindi ko lang alam if kilala mo siya. Single or taken? Taken, taken. I'm taken. <laughs> okay, guys. Sorry, taken. So, yun lang naman. We just wanted to end on a lighter note since tayo-tayo lang nandito tonight. Yeah. So, guys, I'm going to enjoy the marriage. Thank you so much. We learned so much from you. And, mm-hmm. Tiamo, na-inspire mo ata si Harley mag-take ng grab. Hindi, <laughs> yung anak niya. Yung anak niya. Pinibisit ko yung anak niya isang beses. Gita, grabe. Sabi ko, Harley, grabe yung anak mo. <laughs> Ah, oh, sin- lang sinama, lang sinama ko sa office si Yuki eh. Ayun. Na- na- nasubukan yung Krav Maga niyang discipline doon. Hindi niya kinaya. Sorry. Hindi kinaya ng Krav Maga 'yan ako. Anyway, um for for those who are watching this, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, for this episode we had Rajon Shock on the show and, and nung season 1, no, we had also Gita as well. Alam niyo naman that the cast of the new you are also doing some other stuff in your life. So that's that's also part of what we want to to showcase here and to tell the audience. Wait, and, yeah. Early, I, I need to plug my part, not not your part, my part of Krav Maga. Ah, yeah, mm, go. Yeah. So, hello everyone. Thank you for watching this and thank you for sticking around till like for one hour, diba? Ang dal-dal ko. Um, I just wanted to let you know that if you guys are interested in taking the Krav Maga classes or to learning more about Krav Maga, uh, visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Krav Maga PH. You can just type Krav Maga Philippines. It'll come up there. Um, our website is kravmaga.ph but currently at the moment um, it's under renovation we're just tweaking a few things to the website it'll be up soon though um, so yeah you can just message Krav Maga Philippines balay mo ako din mag reply dun <laughs> so ayun uh, we'll be launching our classes in October our online classes and then hopefully soon you know our physical site will our physical sites will be up um, when the cases kind of like get a bit better uh, I want everyone to stay safe as much as possible so yeah <laughs> so yun uh, Gitsika anything else to to share to blog Follow me at Kisikumabaw on all social media accounts. Ano yun, itong mga co-hosts natin dito, mga influencer, whatever. Anyway, uh, that's about it for BU. Uh, you, you've you known Reg for, since the start of season 1 as that girl who does the vlogging every time we end the show. But for tonight, you get to know her more with her own passion with Krav Maga. So, well, that's cool. For for next week, we'll have Jodie Lee Pendre, one of the Asia's Next Top Model, season two runner-up. Okay, so she will be t- uh, we will be talk- we will be uh, taking her time and get to know her more on what she does and all. So for tomorrow, we will have you Mud still. We'll have a good friend of mine, an indie R and B artist who just recently released his work on Spotify as well, Edmund Rowe. Uh, launching the Chill City playlist. 
So I think well, sinner ko din kay Vino at kay Reg eh. And uh, there's a lot of Nikki, there's a lot of Snow, there's a lot of Daniel Caesar songs in there. So watch out for that tomorrow. But for tonight, yeah, Reg, thank you so much. Thank you so much for for Wait, sharing us. Last na, last na promise. Yeah. <laughs> Shout yes, out to Patau, Aaron, Coach RJ, Aaron, nakais ka. <laughs> si Borgi, shout out to Borgi, Pat, Coach RJ, and Nico. The, our, my, our team is watching us eh, from uh, my boys. corporate team. Yeah, yeah follow <laughs> Alto still. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else? For next week pala, I mean, I, I want to take... To take this na rin, uh, we don't have you mood by the new you for the next Friday because Reg and I will be hosting a benefit concert next week. Uh, it's going to be Juries and City uh, Cybersecurity Awareness Benefit Concert. So the proceeds of that concert will help uh, beep beep sa it, It's a foundation that helps jeepney drivers right now. So it's it's about two hours, starting from six o'clock to eight p.m. at the Westcon Philippines Facebook page. Go check it out. It's free. The concert is free, but we we really encourage you to donate because all of the proceeds will go to the jeepney drivers. Okay, that the foundation will be helping. Aside from that, solid solid din yung mga host next week, by the way. <laughs> aside from that, aside from that. You will get, well, of course, a little bit of awareness, getting to know cybersecurity in a sense, and you get free concert from Juris and City as well. To camp to right. Anyway, uh, also, isa pa pala, you need to sign up right now. Why? Because at that concert, they are giving away two Apple Watch SE. Okay, for social media viewers. So if you, of course, that's the reason why we're saying it right now. If you hear it from us, you sign up right now. Just check on uh, social media and then get the chance to win an Apple Watch SE. Okay, so once again, that's it for tonight. Thanks, Reg. Gita, of course, thank you so much. Um, thank you. But as always, yes, uh, it's another day. It's another work week about to end by, by tomorrow. But still, it's still your black and white podcast and always the new you. Good night, everyone. Good night.